Hey everyone, it's Mia and today I'm going to be showing you what I eat in a few days at uni. Just thought I'd give you guys some recipe ideas. Everything is 100% plant based and somewhat healthy. So if you're looking for some meal ideas then stay tuned and let's just get into it. So first of all I'm starting off my day with a hot chocolate and I like to use half oat half soya. It's such a nice blend. And then I'm only using this fancy hot chocolate because I got it for Christmas, but I usually use the Cadbury's one. And then I'm just mixing that all together. Then I'm making some porridge. This keeps me filled up all the way till lunch. So first of all, I just defrost some frozen fruit. These are my favorites, but you can use anything. And I actually add a little bit of sweetener because I find that frozen fruit can sometimes be a bit bitter. And then I just make my porridge as usual with oats, soya milk and mix that all together. Add some chia seeds and flax seeds because they're really good for you. Then I top it off with some hemp seeds. These are my favourite. Some granola just because I had it to use up and a little bit of peanut butter. For lunch we are making this pesto pasta. First of all I'm just boiling some spaghetti and then using this Linda McCartney shredded duck. It's obviously vegan and it's so so good. Then I've got some pesto and some broccoli. I love to eat broccoli every single day and some cherry tomatoes. And then once I've drained the pasta and broccoli I'm just adding some pesto. This is such an easy meal honestly. And then adding the tomatoes on top and then the vegetarian duck. Such a good lunch. Would highly recommend. It's just like a spiced up version of pesto pasta. These quinoa chips are my favourite. They kind of taste like quavers but they're a bit healthier. And then I'm just having a Nomo bar. This is my all time favourite chocolate. For dinner I am making a quick and easy chickpea curry, so we're starting off with an onion, cutting it like Gordon Ramsay, and then adding some garlic and ginger, just stirring it all around, a bit of water if it gets dry. Then the spices I'm using are cumin, garam masala, coriander, and chilli. Then I'm just adding in some chopped tomatoes, mixing that all together. Then some chickpeas. Then some coconut cream. So I just use it from like a tin of coconut milk. This makes it so, so yummy. And I use the leftover coconut cream in hot chocolates. It's so good. And then I'm just using some mushroom stock. Honestly, this is a game changer. Like I use this in everything now. And then I just boil some rice and serve it all up and this is such a healthy, quick and easy meal. I'm just having a cookie as a little after dinner snack. I actually made these the other day and I'll link the recipe down below. It's just BBC Good Food cookies and it's actually got three of my favourite types of chocolate as the chocolate chips so I'm so excited about this. For breakfast I had pancakes, I think ever since pancake day I just can't stop having these, they're so good. So I have my favourite recipe that I always use which I'll link down below and I usually halve the recipe to make the amount that I am making here. These are all the ingredients, just mix it all together. And then in a buttered pan I just heat the mixture, flip it over. I like to make the American style pancakes rather than crepes and they're so light and fluffy and like the supermarket ones. And maple syrup is always my favourite topping, that is the only thing I'll have on pancakes really. A bit later in the day I just had a decaf coffee made with oat milk and soya like I showed at the start. For lunch I'm making this super random thing where I just do potato wedges and vegetarian duck and broccoli. I know it doesn't really go together but it's really nice so I'm just making the potato wedges here and yeah I just microwave the potato first to speed along the process and here I've got the vegetarian duck as I showed with some broccoli and yeah super easy and quick I would really recommend this. 
I don't often make lasagna because it's quite a lot of effort, but this was so worth it. So I just started off making basically a spaghetti bolognese with this Vivera plant-based mints and yeah, loads of herbs. And then for the creamy sauce, I did garlic puree, soya cream, soya milk, mix that all around and soaked some cashew nuts, which I'm then gonna blend up and add into the sauce, which makes it so creamy. I'd really recommend this sauce with pasta. Even if you're just making this not a lasagna, it kind of is like a carbonara. So then I just start layering everything up and this turned out a little bit dry actually, so I'd probably make it more saucy next time. So like more liquidy sauces and that just helps to cook the pasta sheets as well. This is how it turned out. I added some basil five minutes before it was finished cooking and served it with some broccoli and it was so good. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you guys next time.